Now, a weather update from the Northwest First Alert Weather Center. Good evening, everybody. I'm meteorologist Scott Ellis here in the Weather Center. Boy, on a day when it had everyone in the Northwest running for ARC building supplies, we finally are seeing things starting to calm down a little bit. That's the good news. For overnight tonight, we will still see some. Are you a cup half empty or half full kind of person? That's the question when you talk about the weather these days, because there's some good news, there's some bad news. Right now, the good news is that the rain is beginning to dissipate. The bad news is we still have plenty of flood warnings and watches in place. The big area is the Stillaguamish River expected to crest around 22 feet, which puts it into record territory. And we still have plenty of warnings to mostly northwestern Washington, but King, Pierce, Thurston, Lewis, Grace Harbor counties all under a watch right now. How much? And well, with more on the wet forecast, let's turn back to Scott Elness in the First Alert Weather Center. You're following that record flooding along the Stillaguamish. What's the latest there? Well, the good news is that the Stillaguamish has now gone out of the flood warning stage. The lower Stillaguamish has gone beneath flood stage, so that's a major, major plus. We do still have several areas under flood warning. The Snohomish River near Monroe, Snohomish River near Snohomish, the Snoqualmie River we saw at there at the falls still under a flood warning. The Middle Green River upstream stream from Auburn continues to stay under a flood warning. You're watching Northwest Cable News. Now weather from the Northwest First Alert Weather Center. Greetings everybody. I'm meteorologist Scott Ellis. Boy, from flood warnings to winter storm warnings, I'm earning my minimum wage tonight, I'll tell you that much. Let's talk a little bit about the conditions we are seeing overnight. Wind starting to pick up as a cold front approaches the area. We are going to see some cooling temperatures getting into the low. Now take a look at this little magical number here, Seattle. Bottoming out in the low to mid 40s. Now keep your eye on that number as we head into tomorrow. <laughs> that is also going to be our high for the day. Expect to continue to see cooling temperatures, strong winds coming our way for both the coast. Even a little bit of instability in the atmosphere could be bringing some lightning to the area. Now stay tuned. We do have those warnings to tell you about. I'll be talking about those in just a moment. Don't you dare go anywhere. You're watching Northwest Cable News. Now weather from the Northwest First Alert Weather Center. Well, hello, everybody. I'm meteorologist Scott Elness in the First Alert Weather Center. Boy, a lot of people glad to be heading into hump day. That's for sure, especially after our Tuesday, bringing some tornadoes, some mountain snows. Yeah, crazy stuff. Now we are going to see things starting to mellow out a little bit on to Wednesday, but expect to see more mountain snows, some more winds around southern Oregon, though. Really wouldn't be surprised to see them throughout much of western Washington and Oregon. Thunder showers still a possibility. We have seen some pretty good thunderstorms pushing through, particularly central Oregon. So eh, don't want to rest just yet. You are going to see things starting to quiet down. In fact, if you take a look at our overnight shot there from Bellevue looking over towards Seattle, things look pretty quiet. But again, don't be fooled just yet. Let's hang on till tomorrow because as you can see, we do still have some wintry weather uh, today into tonight. We will see up to another foot into the Cascades. Those snow levels will continue to fall as we go and similar conditions around the Oregon Cascades, especially to the north. You're looking at one to two feet of snow continuing to be possible. Boy, it was just an interesting day. Yesterday, we brought down a bunch of cold weather from Alaska, brought in a low pressure center that started to sort of circulate as it does counterclockwise. Then the cold front pushed in, developed some vorticity, spun up a tornado. We had a lot of instability in the atmosphere, so a lot of thunderstorms, even that one EF2 tornado that landed in Oregon. Don't see those very often. 50% 50, 50 of the tornadoes around the Northwest have been EF0. So that gives you a little bit of an idea as to what kind of an event we went through. Thank goodness we are starting to head towards calmer pastures, for lack of another word. Now, let's talk about our day for Wednesday. Whew. Yeah, nice to see some uh, cool temperatures, sure, but just mostly cloudy skies and a few scattered showers. And uh, yeah, definitely quieter winds, definitely quieter weather in general. So good news across the board. That's going to extend out to the coasts of Washington. However, we are going to continue to see a few breezes. So don't be uh, too surprised to see those winds kicking up. The chop kicking up as uh, continues into tomorrow. Then some snows continuing around the passes going to be a tough go across any of the passes if you're heading around them overnight. Now, breezy conditions, certainly a possibility around Oregon or for your Tuesday night into Wednesday, but your Wednesday looking a whole heck of a lot better. Everything is looking a lot better for Wednesday. Still looking at some breezes out to the western coast of Oregon, but temperatures 
reasonably normal <laughs> out to the eastern portions of Oregon. We're going to cool things down into the low 30s for Baker, into the mid 30s for Burns. So a lot of snow showers just sort of lingering around the eastern portions of Oregon, and the Dalles will see a mixture of rain and snow. Into the eastern portions of Washington, some mid 30s for Spokane, some snow falling there, mixture around Walla Walla. Push it over towards some snow for Omac and a mixture for your areas around Yakima. I will be back in just a few minutes. We'll talk about all those five-day forecasts.